morning nomads and welcome to a very special day for me. I just completed a 20 day, 1600 calorie a day diet and I just passed 300 subscribers. So I am celebrating with a full cheat day where I allow myself to eat all the things that I've been desiring for the past 20 days but couldn't give the calories for. So I think it's gonna be fun. I've already planned out some of the food I'm gonna have. I woke up kind of early because I'm excited. I did my meditation, I'm having my coffee, and then I'm gonna do a photo shoot just to document the before and after of my body um, from the diet, and then I'm going to let loose. Did you know that Domino's opens at 10 in the morning? I do because I am having pizza for breakfast like you should on any good cheat day. Woo! All right, I just ordered my pizza and wings and now we're taking off. one of my favorite meals from college. I used to always have Domino's pizza with chicken kickers. They don't sell chicken kickers anymore. You have to pay extra for the sauce and then I have to coat the, the breaded chicken nuggets and kicker sauce myself, but that's okay. So I have my own dipping sauce. I'm using the Primal Ranch dressing I've been eating. Pepperoni is my favorite. I got half pepperoni in case Ahmed wants to have some later. Oh my God. So I got the thin crust pizza, which is my favorite. The original hand toss is good too, but I really like a crispy crust. The cauliflower pizza I've been eating the last 20 days on my diet is good, but this is definitely more savory. You can taste the extra calories. Mmm. Oh my god. I love pizza. And for my uh Chicken wings, I like to coat them in kicker sauce, then dip them in ranch dressing to cool down the sauce a little, which is, of course, so caloric, but, mmm. Wow. So I ate almost three quarters of the pizza and half of the kickers and some ranch dressing, and then, of course, the coffee in the morning, and already I've eaten it's almost all of the calories I would have eaten yesterday just in breakfast, and I don't really feel that full. I'm actually cutting myself off. I could be more full right now, but I know I have a whole day ahead of me, so. Just goes to show you the kind of food you eat makes a big difference. I am now on to phase two of my cheat day. My original plan was to get a wonderful decadent cake from Milk Bar, but all the Milk Bars are closed because of the quarantine. So I am making a cake. And usually when I make a cake from a box, I make it one layer and that's enough for me. But I'm gonna attempt to make a two layer cake that I've never done before just to make it look a little extra fancy. I have the first layer in the oven. I'm gonna take that out and put the second half and then I'm gonna to attempt to assemble it after it cools down, so we'll see how that goes. This is the first uh, layer of the cake. It came out a little thinner than the second layer that's cooling on the stove right now because I spilled some of the batter on the sink, so I had to throw it away. So I'm gonna put the, the smaller layer on the bottom. Too. You can see that it's a little thicker than the other layer, but that's okay. Cheat day phase two is complete. A handmade two layer funfetti cake complete with funfetti frosting. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself because I don't make a lot of cakes and 
Frosting a cake looks so easy in the videos, but it's not that easy in real life. You can see the bottom layer is a lot thinner than the top, but good enough. So it may look a little misshapen, but the real question is, how do it taste? Mmm, very soft and fluffy. I used egg whites instead of whole eggs. Not to be healthy, I think I just like it better that that way. Makes it very soft. Mmm. So now we're at Olive Garden. We're parked outside waiting for our curbside pickup. I ordered half a dozen breadsticks and five cheese marinara dipping sauce. I love the breadsticks here, but with the calorie restrictions I had this past couple weeks, I could not have it. So now I'm having it for lunch. Just breadsticks and dipping sauce. I wore yellow gloves so that everything I touch up until now, my hands are protected from. And then once I get the food, we're going to park at Target and I'm going to take the gloves off and I'm going to eat it with the clean hands that are underneath. So that's my plan. <laughs> gloves off and my hands remain clean theoretically mm, hold on. I love these things so much this is one of my favorite foods in the world talking about Olive Garden breadsticks that was so heavenly. Oh my god, I love those breadsticks. I kind of lost track of how many breadsticks I ate because I was eating so, like, so animalistically. I think I ate eight. Usually, I ordered a half dozen breadsticks and then I ordered this dipping sauce. And usually the dipping sauce comes with four breadsticks. But I don't think I ate ten. But I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like a 10 so I'm gonna go with like maybe eight. Maybe they gave me two. I hope it was only eight because it went down too easy. So we're gonna make one more stop before we head home and that's gonna be to Cheesecake Factory to pick up a couple cheesecakes. being outside I like to shower right away just because I'm afraid of you know coming in contact with anything that might have the virus so I showered put the cheesecakes in the fridge now I'm getting dinner ready we're running a little late and for dinner I'm making one of my new favorites chapaghetti with ribeye steak And then when it's just about done, I add a tablespoon of butter just for flavor, which is yum. Already have the noodles going. Uh, they'll boil for three minutes and then I'll pour out most of the water except for like a cup or two. And then I'll mix everything together with a powder and it'll be ready to go. So phase four of my cheat day for dinner, I'm having one of my new favorites, chapaguri with sirloin uh, from the movie Parasite. Ever since I tried this mix of chapaghetti and neoguri Korean ramen with steak, I was hooked and I've been missing it for the past 20 days. So, oh my God, that savory sauce mixed in with the the drippings of the steak, it's so good. 
Mmm. And a little bit spicy from that seafood neoguri. I swear, it's really good. <laughs> So the fifth and final stage of my cheat day, although I'm very full, is this amazing cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. I know the strawberry one looks the best, but actually the one that is most decadent is this red velvet cheesecake. I had it once before. It's got white chocolate, red velvet cheesecake, and the entire thing is nearly 1600 calories. So you can imagine how decadent it is. Oh my god. It also has like that cream cheese frosting taste in the cheesecake. I don't think I'll finish it all. Hopefully I won't because it's too many calories. Well, I only ended up eating about a quarter of one cheesecake. And honestly, I didn't even finish all of the chapaguri because, I mean, it's a lot. I really wasn't trying to stuff myself, but inevitably, if I'm letting myself eat everything I want, I do stuff myself. I almost ate like 6,000 calories today, which is a lot. It was a good day. I had a lot of treats that I've been missing out on and I'm looking forward to the next one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Until next time, good night.